Welcome to the class. Today we will learn about alcohols, phenols and ethers. Alcohols, phenols and ethers are the organic compounds. They are very significant in our daily life. Alcohols and phenols have the hydroxyl group as a functional group. Ethers have RO or ARO as the functional group. Fine? Now, <coughs> When the hydroxyl group is attached with the alkyl substituent, then it is known as the alcohol. When the hydroxyl group is attached with the aryl substituent, then it is known as phenol. For a very general example for the alcohol is ethanol. Ethanol has the chemical formula C2H5OH. This is used as an antiseptic, also known as rectified spirit. Likewise, we have an example for phenol. For example, hexachlorophene. Hexachlorophene is used in the mouthwashes, deodorant soaps and medical skin cleansers. Phenols are also used for manufacture of dyes, resins, etc. In fact, you know, uh, alcohols are very popularly, popularly used for the synthesis of other classes of organic compounds such as alkanes, haloalkanes, ethers, aldehyde, ketones, acids, etc. Fine. And ethers. Ethers, we have a general example, diethyl ether. Diethyl ether is a very known solvent for the industrial applications. So, we can understand that alcohols, phenols and ethers are very significant in our daily life. Now, we will understand how are these formed. These are formed by the replacement of the hydrogen atom. Alcohols are formed by the replacement of the hydrogen atom by the OH group. So, here from the alkane we have this alkyl substituent and here hydrogen atom. So, this hydrogen atom is being replaced by the hydroxyl group and we get the alcohol. Likewise, from this benzene, this is an aromatic hydrocarbon. We abstract this hydrogen atom, substitute with the hydroxyl group and we get the phenol. You can see here one hydrogen atom has been abstracted and here OH group is attached. So, we can get the alcohol and phenol likewise by the replacement of hydrogen atom by the hydroxyl group. Now, let us see. How can we get ethers? Ethers are formed by the substitution of the hydrogen atom in an hydrocarbon, in a hydrocarbon by the alkoxy group. This is known as alkoxy group or replacement by the aryloxy. This is your aryloxy. Okay, this is your aryloxy group. So, when alkoxy or the aryloxy group replaces the hydrogen atom, then we get the uh, organ um, organic compounds, ethers. We can also get the ethers from alcohol. When alcohol is dehydrated, dehydrated means the removal of water molecule. What is removed? A molecule of water. Then we get ethers. So, alcohol on dehydration give ethers. Okay. For example, if you have C2H5OH, this is your ethanol and you have two molecules of ethanol and in the presence of the H2SO4, okay, what will happen? A molecule of water will be removed and you will get C2H5O C2H5. So, this represents which um, compound? Ethers. Okay. Here you have RO. You can see this is the alkyl, alkyl group. So, this is the example for ROR. Likewise, we can form examples or we can form the compounds for the aryloxy group. 
So today we have learned about the alcohol, phenols and ethers. To learn more about this topic of alcohol, phenols and ethers and to learn more chemistry topics, visit, like, share and subscribe chemistry class. Thank you.